It's been almost three years since the flood caused widespread damage in the Midlands and in the town of Lexington. Two of the affected areas may be getting an upgrade very soon. News 19's Chandler Mack has the story. It was a scary day. Um, I pulled in and my headlights caught it and I saw the soil just breaking away. John Klinger owns the Old Mill Brew Pub in Lexington and he remembers the 2015 flood like it was yesterday. All the water just came rushing out and it just kept chipping away, just kept breaking and breaking and breaking apart. The dam in the Old Mill Pond was destroyed as a result of the flood, which led to a major difference in the pond. So we've lost 15% of our dining as it is, and we can't restore that until the dam is repaired. Um, but we also had um, people, patrons that would come and actually enjoy the water view, and they haven't really been uh, swarming back to look at this. But after nearly three years, separate plans are in place to rebuild not only the dam in Old Mill Pond, but also the dam in Gibson Pond. Gibson Pond uh, was one of our largest parks in the town, um, so it was a great asset for us, and we are excited uh, to finally get that ball rolling and, and bring that pond back. The plans are approved by DHEC. The town will also build a biking and walking path go through both Gibson Pond and Old Mill Pond, something that Klinger feels will draw more attention to the town. Lexington is just not a hot spot uh, for, for tourism, but the more we get that can keep people here, keep them walking around, keep them venturing through, whether it's markets and shops or restaurants, um, it's going to be good for everybody. In Lexington, Chandler Mack, News 19, WLTX. The town of Lexington owns Gibson Pond, so if the plan is approved, the town will pay 25% of the cost, with the other 75% being paid for by FEMA. A decision for both plans is expected to come by the end of September.